So there's this sort of debate in Montalcino about traditionalist and modernist. Where do you stand on that? Where do you think you fit into that? Well, I think now traditional. When we started a little bit the first two vintages, we were a little bit more modern because I think there was, uh, I knew less and there was a little bit kind of the trend at the time. Uh, but since probably since 2005, it's all uh, large barrels, uh, concrete, uh, uh, and most importantly, uh, traditional style of winemaking, uh, meaning also long macerations, very light-ended winemaking, we don't go to, for too much extraction, and uh, also we don't go for too much concentration in the vineyard, which is very important, especially in the warmer part, we try not to have too low yields, uh, because they can produce too much concentration in the wines, which I really don't want. So I try to keep a little bit higher yields down there. And here, of course, it's a little bit more difficult to get good ripening at 600 meters. So here we keep a little bit lower yields. So you're saying that when you started off, you made more, for want of a better word, slightly jammier wines with a little bit more new oak flavor. Now you've reined that in a little bit. Yes, no, but definitely a lot. I mean, now it's, uh, it's definitely more traditional. Uh, also, I went backwards. I looked at the wines that I liked most and they were all made in a traditional way. Uh, so I, that's, that's, I say I wanted to make the wines that I like to drink as well. Tell me a little bit about uh, Montalcino. Why has it, uh, it become so famous? Well, I think Montalcino uh, has become so famous uh, now for a number of years uh, because of, uh, first of all, the quality of its wines, which mm -hmm. is, I think in certain cases, it cannot be uh, denied. I mean, yeah. the wines are, are great. If you taste them against uh, other great wines of the world, they, they old. They hold their own, so I think that the wines are definitely a major factor why Montalcino has been so popular. And then also because I think it's a beautiful place with a great location geographically. I mean, we are uh, uh, in a fantastic area, as you can see if you look around. And uh, we're near Siena, near Florence, near the sea, near some beautiful towns. And I think it's, uh, it's a luxury that lots of uh, other wine areas don't, don't have. So the idea of making a, a, a wine from just one little particular plot, whose name you put on the label, that's very Burgundian, isn't it? Were you influenced by Burgundy in your thinking? Yeah, I mean, yes, because I, I love uh, Burgundy. I've been there several times. Uh, I can say that they're my favorite wines. So I envy them a lot for uh, the different uh, characteristics they can get in a wine in such a short uh, even area. Because there you have one vineyard of, I don't know, two hectares and you have 20 different uh, wines. Uh, here is a little bit more uh, uni uniform, but at the same time, being Montalcino such a large village, even people don't realize because it's a small village in, in the end, but the land is quite, is quite large, so you can have very different wines. 